Oh, there you are, YouTube. Today, we're gonna do another random ranking. This is the third one in a row. So, this is, I think, becoming a series. I don't think it's going to be a series that continues consecutively and then stops. I think it's just gonna be something I do every once in a while, and there may be times when you'll have consecutive days of it because I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I have a lot of movies. If I run out of movies here on this floor, which if you've seen previous editions of this series, you know that behind this wall is a DVD case, Blu-ray case, whatever, movie case, media case, and I pick movies with my eyes closed and then bring them back over here where the light is because it's dark on the other side of this wall and rank those movies, those randomly selected movies. But I think the random selection is gonna be a little bit different this time. Now, it, the selection of movies that I do have over there are in somewhat alphabetical order. It's like they were in alphabetical order at one time and then, you know, the kids will pull them out and then we'll just like shove them back into the, you know, movie collection and, it's not always put back where it was or we'll do the same thing you know just quickly grab a movie quickly put it back and it's not in its correct spot right so I think I'm gonna change it up where before I was just sort of like randomly picking different areas so over here and then one down over here and then one up here I think I'm going to pick three movies because this is the third consecutive video of this series I'm gonna pick three movies that are next to each other in this bookcase, movie case. What is, what could happen is three movies that start with the same letter, but maybe not. That's what I was getting into when I was talking about it being in alphabetical order. Why, while yes, it is in alphabetical order, they, it's not perfect alphabetical <laughs> order because there's been some mixing up here and there. Anyway. I'm gonna go and pick those three movies now. And again, the three movies are going to be next to each other. One, two, three, next to each other. Okay, so let's go. Here's the collection right here and right here. I, I don't know what I'm gonna pick from. It's just gonna come at random. Okay, the movies have been picked. I dropped one in the process. <laughs> like not, not one that I picked, but like I pulled three movies out and then like one fell, so maybe one of them was the one that I picked out, so um, I just like the one that was on the floor, I like felt for it and then picked it up, put it back on the shelf. But I do have three movies here. I have not looked at them yet, so I don't know what they are, so let's do that right now. Oh, -ho! all right. First one, Empire Records. Oh, next, Elizabeth, The Golden Age. Oh man, and then Edward Scissorhands. All right, I, th I think I know how this is gonna go, but let's check it out. Okay, so this is the order in which I showed them to you. Um, all right, let's start with number three. I know this one is number three. I've only seen it one time. And actually, I haven't watched this DVD yet because the first time I saw it was in the theater and I, yeah, bought this and, and haven't watched it yet. Did I see it in the theater? Maybe it was a rental. I, you know what, honestly, I don't remember right now. Now I'm feeling like it was a rental, but I could be thinking about Anna Karenina. Oh no, I saw Anna Karenina in the theater. You know, wait, did I? Yeah, yeah, I saw that in the theater. Anyway, regardless, uh, I'm pretty sure I've only seen this movie one time. Now, this is a sequel film to a movie just called Elizabeth. Elizabeth, the original, the first film I love and have seen multiple times. This one, I just like. It has some fiery lines in it. It has some special effects that aren't that great that uh, take place on the ocean. Uh, Kate Blanchett, though, is always amazing. She was nominated for an Oscar 
for this best actress uh, which she was also nominated for for the first film so that's pretty cool to be nominated um, for playing the same role in two different films in a single franchise I hope she returns to this role I think that would be very fun um, let's see oh yeah Clive Owen he's in it um, uh, Jeffrey Rush you can see down there why is her name escaping me from it's probably written on here somewhere uh, where is it Man, I like I, I know her from Walking Dead now. <laughs> I can't even think of her name. Oh my goodness. Samantha Morton. There we go. Samantha Morton right there. Okay, so this one right here is number three. I like it, but I like the first one more. I love the first one. So yeah, I know this one is last. Here is the question. Oh, I clearly got this, like, at a second-hand store. I get a lot of my DVDs at a second-hand store. That's why I still collect DVDs. I get stuff cheap. So this, yeah, uh, second-hand store, definitely. So let's see. Um, I, okay. Man, both are nostalgic. This one's a little more nostalgic because it's older. This one, this guy right here, Ethan Embry. I've always loved this actor, and this movie is one of the reasons why. Renee, Renee Zellweger is great in this. Um, uh, Arwen, she's great in this. Liv Tyler is her name. Is this dog even in the movie? I don't remember a dog. I feel like I've seen this enough times to know if there's a dog in it, but I don't see a dog. Not Rex Manning Day. Um, man, his character is named Mark... I don't know. I've just always liked him. He was in a Christmas movie called All I Want for Christmas when I was a kid that I always liked. I watched it as an adult and I don't like it anymore. This I still love. I still think is great. And, ah, man. So, this is going to be a tough one. Liv Tyler, Renee Zellweger right there. Yeah, look at that. It's one of those old style DVDs with the clasp. Oh man, look at that up top. That's great. My name isn't Blanking Warren. That's what that guy says right there in the red. Okay, all right. So yeah, Empire Records, Edward Scissorhands. This one has an amazing score. I mean, Johnny Depp is in it, Winona Ryder is in it. They are amazing. Uh, the Cabinet of Dr. Caligar <clears throat> Dr. Caligari references happening here. Tim Burton directed. This is when Tim Burton was on top of his game, which I don't feel like he's been on for a long time. Um, this, I mean, maybe this isn't as hard as I'm making it because this one also definitely has a lot of Christmas vibes to it with the snow. It's very sad. It's such a great film where this one here is such a fun film. So I think, now these are close, this is a distant third, so I will say that. These are close, not like razor thin, but this one is very distant third. So I think what I'm going to have to do here is, is do this, because the art direction is fantastic, the acting is Great. I love Johnny Depp in this role. Uh, the music that I already say that is perfect. So many great uh, supporting actors in this. Um, I mean, it's just, yeah, Alan Arkin right there. It's fantastic. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go Edward Scissorhands, then Empire Records, which is also very fantastic film. And honestly, so I'm ranking this based on favorite, right? So it's this, then this, then this. But if somebody were to say, which one of these do you want to watch today, in a lot of days, most days probably, I'm going to say Empire Records. It's an easier watch. It's a very fun watch. A lot of good rock music in it. Um, it's just, it's a fun 
It's a fun viewing. So this is the one, like if, again, if somebody were to say, which one of these do you want to watch? I'm going to say this one, but favorite, probably this one, the best, probably this one. So yeah, there we go. That is today's ranking. And in saying that, thank you for joining me for today's random ranking, and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.